Only a few weeks ago, this would have seemed highly improbable, if not unimaginable. A Security Council deadlocked for two and a half years on Syria, agreeing with every hand raised. It has two key demands, that Syria abandon its chemical weapons stockpile and for weapons experts to be given unfettered access to make sure it's dismantled. As a community of nations, we reaffirm our responsibility to defend the defenseless, those whose lives remain at risk every day that anyone believes they can use weapons of mass destruction with impunity. But the resolution doesn't authorize the automatic use of force if Syria is held in violation. For the first time, the Security Council has endorsed a roadmap for a political transition in Syria. And the UN has also set a target date for a new peace conference in mid-November. Today's historic resolution is the first hopeful news on Syria in a long time. For many months, I have said that the confirmed use of chemical weapons in Syria would require a firm, united response. Uh, tonight, the international community has uh, delivered. The resolution is nowhere near as strong as America, Britain and France would have liked, but diluting it was the price they paid to get Russia's support. But there is a hope it will lead to further diplomatic breakthroughs, not least bringing together the warring sides in Syria for long-awaited talks. Nick Bryant, BBC News.